What's going on everybody? Grim Repair here. Today I'm going to show you how to change the mirror out on your Ford Transit. This one here just quit working for some reason. I don't know why. Tools you're going to need are a magnet, a small flathead, a 10 millimeter socket, a 7 millimeter socket, a regular size flathead, a T20 and a T25 Torx bit, and a panel removal tool. There'll be links in the description to any special tools. We're going to take a small flathead and pop these covers off. And there's a little screw in there. There's another one over here toward the front. There's one here under the handle. I'm going to pry this one out from the back. There's one down in here in this handle area. There's one here also. These are a seven millimeter. Got another one, two, down here at the bottom of the door. This one down here is a T20. This one in here feels like a T25. Take a panel removal tool and pop the clips out around the outside. And here's a shot of where all the clips are that hold the panel on. Give you an idea where you need to be prying it off at. And this panel is going to just lift up and off. We're going to have to unplug some of these plugs on the back side. Just going to squeeze this tab here, pull that one out. The tab on this one is on the inside where you can't see it. That's how Ford likes to do it. And this, I just reached under here and pulled it toward me. This little tab here, and it popped out. Now the door panel's off the door. We're going to carefully pull this plastic off the door. And the wiring to the mirror is right here on this peg here. So we're going to pop that pin into the door. And disconnect this plug. And now we're going to pop this other plastic pin out. And that will let the harness go through. And that's it. Take a flat head and remove these three rubber caps on the inside. Now we can remove these three 10 millimeters. Take a magnet and pull those nuts out of there so you don't drop them down in the door. Now we can lift it off. And it's out. 
Here's the part number for the new one. Got it from Ford. And as soon as the aftermarket makes it available, I'll have links down in the description for you to get a mirror. This wasn't cheap from Ford. All right, just gonna make sure that it's the same. Looks perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in. Just feed the wiring down through the way it came out. Slide those studs back through. We're gonna reach in there, make sure that it came through, and it did. Go ahead and plug that back in. Pop the clips back where they were. Push the plastic back up against the door. Tighten up the three ten millimeters that hold the mirror on. I'm just going to plug these plugs back in. Well, I can't really show you how to clip that one back in, but you just kind of got to reach over, feel for it, line it back up. Now we're going to put the uh, door lock back through this hole here and then line it up with the holes in the door and the pins and push it back on. I'm going to get it pushed on over the rubber lip here and then just pop the panel back on before you bolt it back up make sure everything works you want to put the key in the ignition and check the windows <clears throat> pop your thing down and pull on the handle make sure that it's attached right and test the mirror too from the driver's side put the t25 back here under this handle now that we've confirmed everything works we can go ahead and put it back together slide the front in first Take those seven millimeter screws and put them back in. One here, one here, and two under here. Pop the covers back over those. Don't forget to put these pieces of plastic back over the mirror bolt holes. And that's it, high five, you did it. <laughs>